News alert. Former President Trump has been indicted again in the election interference case brought by special counsel Jack Smith. The indictment was revised after the Supreme Court's presidential immunity ruling last month. And here to react is former federal prosecutor Katie Cherkovsky. Hello, Katie. Thanks for joining us. So you think this is purely political, right? There's almost no legitimate legal purpose to Jack Smith bringing this superseding indictment at this point because the issues that were raised by the Supreme Court with the immunity ruling needed to be litigated by the trial judge anyway, and they could have certainly done that with the existing indictment. So this seems like a pure headline grab, in my opinion, during the, the heart of the campaign season and they here. want these, he these headlines, right? Absolutely. There's, again, no chance that this case is going to trial before the election. There are still so many challenges that need to be looked at with this case. And, of course, if Donald Trump is elected, this could very well be Jack Smith's final act yeah. at all in these cases. So I think that this was a last-ditch effort to bring this to the forefront of the headlines again. And these cases get so confusing. There's New York, there was Florida, there's D.C., there are other states. This in Georgia, this is the one about J6, correct? Yes, this is what they consider the main election interference case, the kind of big case that deals with the fake elector schemes and things along those lines. But certainly there's a lot of acts in those charges that deal with the presidency and the right. official acts that may or may not have been undertaken there. So. Okay. so the Supreme Court recently ruled that presidential immunity for official acts. So how do we define official acts? Would this have been an official act? And is Jack Smith just trying to narrow it down and frame it differently? Well, according to Jack Smith, the superseding indictment attempted to interpret the Supreme Court's decision to take out things that they believe would be objectionable. I think even based on the face of the new indictment, there are still many things that are not in line with okay. the Supreme Court's decision. And that's why there's going to be several more layers of review at the trial level and then all the way up potentially through the Supreme Court oh before this could even go forward. All right, Katie, let's did. look at... Uh, President Trump's campaign courtroom calendar. Last September 5th, the judge determines how D.C. federal election interference case should move forward. Then on the 16th of September, the judge decided whether to throw out the verdict against Trump in the hush money case. On the 18th, sentencing for New York versus Trump. On the 26th, arguments begin an appeal of the $450 million civil fraud judgment against Trump and his business associates. Then on December 5th, arguments begin in the appeal for the Georgia state election interference case. What do you think the average voter is thinking? Are they thinking enough is enough? We're going after Hunter Biden. We're going after Donald Trump. Let's just have an election. I think that people are probably getting very frustrated with what I would consider lawfare. These are, especially in the Jack Smith cases, very novel legal theories. These are not legitimate crimes that we've ever seen charged before. So certainly it seems like a direct attempt to interfere with the election, which is so ironic in a case that is alleging that Donald Trump did the same thing. Um, I don't think that there's any sort of hiding the fact that this is purely for political purposes, especially with regard to the J6 case. So this will not go forward until after the election? There's no possibility for that okay. to happen, even if it does withstand uh, the scrutiny on appeal. Okay. Katie, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.